What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. I'm once again joined by Degenerate J. And in this video, we're going to kind of do our final thoughts, kind of uh, just general impressions about Godzilla vs. Kong. The movie releases tomorrow, uh, HBO Max, theaters, which people would think that this movie can actually uh, finally be the first movie that can really dominate uh, movie theaters ever since they're starting to try to open again. So I brought Jay in, an amazing, amazing guy. I'm sure you guys have uh, you know seen me record with him before. Make sure you guys check out all his stuff, his main channel. Channel, his Let's Play channel, his Twitter. Again, just a, a fantastic friend, a fantastic creator. And I brought him, Let's. I'm going to be flat out honest with you guys, to kind of even me out. He's a big fan. My wife's actually a huge fan of this franchise. She cannot wait uh, for tomorrow. I'm kind of in the middle. I don't like despise it, but I'm definitely not in uh, like the massive hype. So I won't pretend like I've been waiting for this movie like forever. I won't pretend like this is like the ultimate showdown for me. But that's why you know Jay's going to kind of let. Maybe he'll hit me in the head, and I'll, I'll kind of come to my sense. So, Jay, thank you so much for being here. Dude, thanks for having me. I got to be honest, I am a massive fan of the new American Godzilla, uh, I guess you'd call it American, uh, movies and, and the, you know, Kong Skull Island. So, it, it pains me. It pains me to hear you say this, but I understand these movies are certainly not for everybody. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited for tomorrow. So, I'm going to I'm gonna hand it over to Jay first because I just think he's the, the bigger fan of us. So, Jay... Uh, what do you think? What are you, you know, expecting from it? What do you think? The strengths of the movie, weaknesses, anything you really want to talk about? I know we're, now Jay and I were recording this actually about a week before, so we got to put ourselves into the mindset of, of one day before the movie comes out. But Jay, say the movie comes out tomorrow. What would you be saying? Uh, I really hope Godzilla wins. Oh, Team Godzilla, yes, yes. I, you know, very few are Team Kong. Yeah, but, you know, it's weird. On Twitter, all I get is Team Kong. Wow, they're a, they're a loud vocal minority. Yeah, you know, I uh, the the things I'm concerned about though are trivializing one of these characters. Um, Godzilla has been really pushed into the role of almost a hero or a guardian of Earth, especially in the last movie. Um, in the first movie, he showed up in. Yes, he was still like a guardian, like he wasn't really the villain. He saved the planet, but he he did cause a lot of damage. Um, and then you know we had Kong, and Kong was like a very sympathetic character in that movie. Um, certainly not a villain. Uh, the villain was a human. And then when we moved into, you know, uh, King of the Monsters, Godzilla was certainly the good guy in, in that movie. So now to move into this thing where they kind of, at least according to the trailers and everything, Godzilla's out of control and they're bringing Kong in to try and stop him, that kind of thing. I'm not saying that that's a awful way to go with the story, but it is very odd in terms of how Godzilla has been established in the last couple outings. Um, so I'm a little worried about that. I don't think they're going to character assassinate Godzilla or anything here. But what I don't want is for them to just make him an idiot controlled by some force. And then Kong comes in and kicks his butt. And then we, you know, it trivialize how powerful Godzilla was. But I also really did like Kong. So I don't want to do the same thing to him. Uh, we do know, too, that Godzilla has more setup going into this. He's gotten two full movies, whereas Kong has just gotten one. Uh, in this universe so that's you know a point for godzilla in terms of development of that character i suppose if you call him that uh, as a monster since he can't talk or anything uh, but i don't know i i guess i'm just interested to see how they will do this we do know that there are some leaks which i don't know uh, i don't want to say them because i don't know if you want to get into them you certainly can but with toys and stuff of other people or other characters involved uh, which will be interesting uh, i don't really know how they'll reconcile this i do think sadly and i could i could be completely wrong uh, maybe they've said otherwise but with how close to not profitable the last movie was i sadly would not be surprised if this is sort of the end of this monster universe for godzilla and kong and stuff yes they certainly could add more to it and go further and i would love it uh, but the last movie it was profitable but barely you know, so now that we're in this weird drought where it's, you know, going to be on streaming and in select theaters, is this going to be profitable enough to warrant another movie after? Or is, you know, these two facing off just the end of this universe? Because whether you like this universe or not, I think it has a lot of potential to keep going and become better and more interesting. And they have tried their hand at more serious, deep stories, even with uh, the human characters, which... You know, this is something we see a lot of in these big monster or big robot movies is an attempt to make human characters that are also sympathetic and stuff 
it usually falls flat, right? I mean, look at Transformers. That's the main example that you can see where it's like, maybe the best time they did that other than Bumblebee was in Age of Extinction with Mark Wahlberg's character. And that movie's not very good as much as I enjoy it. Um, but they were able to do that in this universe. And, and that's a good thing for this type of movie. I just don't know if American audiences really care enough beyond some memes on Twitter um, to see these to justify their existence. I look at this kind of the way I look at Naruto, where it's like, I don't actually despise it, but I like to poke fun because, because my wife will like it or because my cousin like is a super uh, Naruto fan. Like I like to just insult it directly to their faces. And I'm not going to do that to you. I mean, we're actually not seeing each other face to face here. But, you know, the, to me, yeah, that's that's kind of what stands out to me is like the character. Well, I did not like the characters in in the last in in the, in the second Godzilla movie. Uh, I thought, especially how they did the whole villain thing, I thought that that fell flat. But I do agree with you. I think overall, with Kong, even the first Godzilla, that they are trying to make these characters deep, but they're all and but they're also trying to strike a balance between how much do we care about, which is what you're saying with Transformers, how much do you care about the humans versus the robots? And the answer for Transformers is like nobody wants. You know, Shia LaBeouf did an okay job. Even Megan Fox. Actually, their chemistry was was okay. Um, but, like, you know, you, you go to see Optimus, you go to see Bumblebee, uh, stuff like that. Same thing for this. So that's going into this movie, I'm so worried. Now, and, and I, I want to get your thoughts on this, Jay, because they said that I believe the quote was, like, Kong is going to be, like, the, the people's eyes and, and, and kind of voice in this movie. So, like, the, the human uh, cast is going to kind of come through through him and I think that probably works because people are going to see this movie or people are going to watch it at home because it's literally called Godzilla vs. Kong and if you notice in the posters and I actually like this I mean there it's just them there are posters that'll have the human cast in very small squares all at the bottom but basically it's like hey look they're there but look at you look at these two big monsters that's what this movie is for so I guess my question to you Jay is like you think you, uh, well, I guess it's a, it's a it's a two part thing. Do you think that's a good idea, them focusing on the monsters, and do you think it'll actually work? Because I guess to me, someone who hasn't really enjoyed really any of the the past three, they either I don't connect enough with the humans, or they don't show enough of the monsters. So do you think this will be like an actual good blend of of what they should be doing? Yeah, and you know, I actually thought that the last movie was going much more in that direction. There was way more um, kaiju on screen time uh, versus previous movies. So I think that they are going in the direction of focusing on the monsters. I will say too, like, um, yes, I think that that can certainly help. And I think that's a good thing. People come to see them fight. They also want a story that makes sense. Uh, because you, you got to admit too, like as cool as it is to see them fight, two and a half hours of just Godzilla and Kong punching each other only would probably get boring um it, it just doesn't sustain the audience you know we see this too with like the mcu everybody goes to the mcu and they love the action but if there wasn't that underlying story and character development the action would be pretty trivial we've seen plenty of superhero movies with really cool action ghost rider is an example but horrible writing and no one remembers them um so i think that that's sort of you know telling about these big hollywood massive budget films and I think that a problem too is like you said, they need to make people care more. And that's kind of why I think that this might be the end of the line. Even if they do that, right? Let's say that they make everyone care. We see this in gaming and movies all the time where you get only so many chances. Usually it's like two, maybe three. If you can't master your concept in those two or three times, uh, unless you have a company that's just willing to shovel money down your throat for whatever reason, uh, you're not gonna get more outings. You know, so even though I love these movies, right? A lot of people didn't connect with them. A lot of people didn't bother to see them for these reasons or didn't bother to buy them after seeing them, which actually is a big part of the market. You know, the niche amount of people who will go buy the Blu-ray because they like the movie enough. Uh, that, that stuff hasn't really been happening for this franchise as much as people thought it would be. And as much as it happened in the past in the uh, Japan-centric, you know, franchise from Toho, it's... I guess just a question of like, even if they do that, which I think they can do and they're going in that direction, will it matter? Well, even when I saw the movies, I was d disappointed for my wife and for my cousin where it's like, you know, because they do have, I, I agree. I'm, I'm just, I'm not hating just a hater. I'm not, uh, you know, just throwing out hate, but I mean, I do appreciate a, a lot of parts of this movie and it's like, yeah, people, I noticed that too, especially with this last Godzilla movie. It's like, people are not 
watching. I mean, these should be, uh, you know, movie. These should crush the box office. And in, in reality, they barely break even. They barely, you know, scrape by making a little bit more money. And then the next movie costs a little bit more, and then they kind of do the same thing over and over. So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm interested in that too. We're we're all talking about the Snyder cut and all stuff like that. And now this is kind of the next one where it's like, the another kind of franchise that may need to be saved, right? And people kind of need to mobilize and uh, watch it. I'll be watching it. I'm sure Jay will be watching it. So we want to hear from you guys in the comments below. What do you think? Are you looking forward to tomorrow? Have you, you know, have you liked these past movies? You, you think you're going to like this one? Let us know. Again, as always, make sure you guys are subscribed here. Bell icon turn on. Make sure you guys are checking out Jay's channel, uh, his main channel, his second channel, um, and his Twitter. I will probably be doing a review. Maybe I'll even bring my wife on, but probably maybe just me. Uh, just a hater's perspective on uh, on this film. Maybe Jay will do stuff on his channel as well. So, Jay, thank you so much for being here with me. Hey, dude, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. I had a great time. And I will, uh, I'll direct any, when I when I hate on the movie, when I review it, I'll direct them to you for the opposite end of that. So we'll both get, you know, the, the opposite sides there. Thank you all for watching, guys, and we'll see you all on the next video.